We've said it before and we'll say it again. Fans of this channel know this fact well. We humans know more about outer space than we do about Earth's oceans. Those watery depths are full of all manner of curious critters, some of which are truly strange to behold. These are fish you won't believe actually exist. Number 15. Spotted Ratfish Can you believe the spotted ratfish is a cousin of the shark? Well, it is. Around 400 million years ago, it split off from sharks and became its own deepwater fish. Today, this fish is quite, uh, a delight. The spotted ratfish is a chimera with no scales that can grow up to around 24 inches long. Much of that length is from its strange tail. As you can imagine from its name, it's quite an absurd color. It's mostly brown and gray, but also has white spotting. All these colors feature on the rabbit-like face, triangle pectoral fins, and a short dorsal fin that has a venomous spine. Quite the character, this fish. Even though it's a deep water fish, it does something that many others like it don't. It migrates just close enough to end up in the nets of deep sea fishers. Just remember to handle it with care, for it has huge spines that are both venomous and cause painful wounds. It's also worth paying attention to their gender if you catch them as well. The male spotted ratfish has sharp clasping organs that aren't all that pleasant to come into contact with. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed while you're sleeping. <laughs> now it's time for the odd topic. This fish right here is what is known as a Mylius Paku. They are a very odd fish that seems to have human-like teeth. Yeah, really. They're a relative of the piranha and are common in South America. There's also something of a legend about them. They're said to have a taste for human flesh. In particular, two certain parts of the male anatomy. Those of you feeling tense right now might be happy to know that, thankfully, this is a myth. They're not gonna bite off your you-know-what, though they have been known to dabble in cannibalism against their own. Yikes. Remember to comment down below with the hashtag odd topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. And now, to the next topic. Number 14. Frogfish. Is, is that a pinata or some kind of yellow underwater frog? SpongeBob, is that you? It's okay to be questioning what this uh, sea creature is, because we did as well. Believe it or not, it's actually a fish and it's called the frogfish for obvious reasons. The frogfish has a permanently surprised face, which makes it a favorite for divers to photograph. They come from the anglerfish Antinoridae family, of which there are around 50 species. If you want to see one of these unusual fish in person, you'll find them in subtropical ocean waters and shallow tropical waters. However, they can be quite hard to spot, because aside from their vibrant coloring, they're actually quite small. They don't grow to much bigger than about 12 inches, the size of a Subway sandwich. But if you thought their looks were weird enough, then you haven't seen how they move. This species of fish have modified pectoral fins, so instead of swimming seamlessly through the water, they kind of walk along the ocean floor in search of prey. It doesn't get much weirder than that. Number 13. Leafy Sea Dragon Have you ever wondered why you haven't seen a leafy sea dragon while swimming along the southern and western coasts of Australia? You probably have, but you may have just assumed it was seaweed. And we don't blame you, for even when you look closely at this marine fish, it's still hard to believe it's living, breathing marine life. One of the most ornately flamboyant animals I've ever set my eyes on. The leafy sea dragon has leaf-like protrusions all over its body. 
You might think they're only used for helping it get around, but they aren't. Instead, their job is to work as a camouflage. They use their pectoral fin on their neck and dorsal fin near their tail to get around. All the leafy bits are merely their wardrobe. These little critters grow up to around 9.5 inches long and have the adorable nickname of leafies. Given how cute they are, they are also the marine emblem of South Australia. Even how they move is a little bit unusual and strange. They use the fins on their necks to help them turn and steer. But because their skin is rigid, they don't have the best mobility. They also tend to stay in one place for up to almost three days, but can move as much as 490 feet in an hour. Number 12. Parrotfish there are so many things that'll make you raise your eyebrows when learning about the parrotfish family, and it won't take you long to realize just how this fish gets its name. If you glance at this fish just briefly, you'll notice how it looks like it has the beak of a parrot. But that's not all. These fish can also change colors and patterns, and they do this throughout their life. But let's not forget what else makes this a fish you won't believe actually exists. At night, parrotfish get into their pajamas. And we don't mean fluffy flannels as we have. They make a cocoon out of mucus from an organ on their head, and then they go off to sleep. Scientists think this mucousy nightwear is to mask their scent and protect them from the likes of moray eels, which are nocturnal predators. Other fish are definitely more of a threat to the parrotfish than they are to them. They mainly eat algae, which they rip off in chunks from reefs. They then grind it between the teeth positioned in their throats. So, yep, this fish is certainly out there. Number 11. Asian Sheep's Head Wrasse The Asian Sheep's Head Wrasse has a face only its mother could love, or a face for radio. Both refer to the same thing. This fish is but ugly. The Asian Sheep's Head Wrasse is native to the Western Pacific Ocean, so it only tends to exist in China, Japan, the Korean Peninsula, and the Ogasawara Islands. In these areas, it loiters around the rocky reefs, so it's not a fish you'll thankfully see every day. That's probably for the best. It can reach lengths of up to 39 inches, and there have been instances of people pulling up these fish weighing as much as 32 pounds. So they're not exactly small. There are many absurd things about this fish that will probably quite surprise you. <laughs> But one of the most notable is that it's a hermaphroditic species. That means it has female and male organs and can change its sex. Surprisingly, this process has actually been caught on camera. BBC Earth crew were filming near Sado Island in Japan when it happened, so it appears on the One Ocean episode of Blue Planet 2. Number 10. Stargazer Fish we're not gonna sugarcoat it. If you told us that a fish existed that had eyes on the top of its head and worms growing out of its mouth, we'd call you a liar and ask you to prove it. But then we'd probably be a little ashamed because you'd be able to do so. Such a fish does exist, even if it doesn't seem like it should. The stargazer fish comes from the Uranoscopidae family, and it's every bit as absurd as what we've just described. This fish lives around the world in shallow and deep bodies of saltwater and has top-mounted eyes. If that's not odd enough, their mouth is also upward-facing, with little worm-shaped lures on the bottoms of their mouths. They use these to attract their prey's attention. How they actually catch their dinner is really quite impressive. Given that their eyes are in a strange place, they bury themselves in the sand, then lunge upward when they spot something. This form of camouflage gives other fish such a fright that they don't stand a chance. And if it's not the surprise factor, then it will surely be the fact that they can also electrocute other fish too. Number 9. Pink See-Through Fantasia The pink see-through Fantasia would have to be one of the most amazing, absurd, astounding sea animals we have ever seen. And we're still wondering how on earth it even exists. It defies all laws of just 
everything. Believe it or not, this alien-like thing is a type of sea cucumber. It was first discovered in 2007, around 8,200 feet under the Celebes Sea surface in Indonesia, in the Western Pacific Ocean. But not a lot is known about where else it could live as of yet. We're thinking Mars. The pink see-through Fantasia really needs very little explanation, and that's because you can see everything inside it. Its transparent skin offers a full view of its intestines, anus, and little webby fingers. It uses these fingers to swim around, but it's a free-swimming creature that tends to just float around and do its own thing. But it does have one card up its sleeve to play if it feels under threat. It's a bioluminescent creature, which means that it can emit light. It uses this light to frighten its potential predators. Trust us, you don't need a light to give us a fright. Your body does that all on its own. Is it okay to body shame fish? Number 8. Flying Fish we thought we had seen it all. Gliding fish, walking fish, fast swimming fish, and now flying fish? What's next, driving fish? SpongeBob SquarePants has that one covered. The flying fish, also known as flying cod, live in tropical and subtropical waters at a depth of around 656 feet. While they can't fly like a bird can, they can literally propel themselves out of the water and use their wing-like fins to glide above the water. But they don't do it for fun, not that we know of. Scientists believe the flying fish uses this as a kind of defense mechanism to escape predators. If something tries to eat it, it just flies. When they get to the end of their flight time, they can fold their pectoral fins and go back into the ocean. Believe it or not, they can spend around 45 seconds in flight and travel distances of about 160 feet. These fish are absolutely incredible, and Barbados thinks so too. This country is now known as the land of the flying fish, and it's one of the country's symbols. Number 7. Stonefish there are some real go-getters in the ocean, like sharks, for example, that put in a lot of effort to secure their dinner. But the stonefish? Well, this fish is as lazy as they come. But it doesn't have to put in any effort to eat, so why would it bother? Stonefish are experts when it comes to camouflaging themselves. They're so good at it that scuba divers, predators, and prey rarely see this fish coming. They live in coral and rocky reefs and manage to blend themselves in seamlessly. Some even have algae on them, so you definitely don't see them. But while the camouflage protects it from predators, it also means it can eat without putting in any effort. Almost like going to the drive-thru for a fish burger. It lies in wait, looks like a stone, then waits for a fish minding its own business to pass by. Then, when it's less than a body length away, it strikes. They have such strong jaws and mouths that they can suck down their prey and swallow it whole. Number 6. Flamingo Tongue Snail Have you noticed lately that kids seem to be painting stones and putting them in funny places? Well, this sea creature looks just like a painted stone, except it's not. It's a flamingo tongue snail and a marine gastropod mollusk. This pretty little critter is so absurd looking that you may not even think it's real. It's bright orange and yellow with black markings and it grows up to about 1.38 inches long. But believe it or not, it's not actually the shell of the snail that has those colors. Once it dies, they disappear and it turns white. Instead, the shell is covered with a live mantle tissue. The snail can actually retract these mantle flaps when it feels under threat, and doing so exposes the shell underneath. This absurd mollusk lives in tropical waters and survives by feeding on soft coral living tissue. When the female is ready to reproduce, she attaches eggs to coral she's recently nibbled on. After around 10 days, the larvae hatch. Probably not surprisingly, the flamingo tongue snail is not all that easy to find in densely populated areas. Many scuba divers and snorkelers collect the shell thinking the bright colors are on the shell rather than the living creature. Number 5. Black Chimera 
The black chimera is very similar to the spotted ratfish, but it is disturbing in its own right. It's a cartilaginous fish that, for obvious reasons, also gets called ratfish, spookfish, and ghost shark. It has weird black lines all over its body, and these make it look like something's taken big chunks of a fish and stapled it together to form the chimera. They are the shark's closest living relative, and they tend to live only in deep water. So fortunately, you aren't likely to encounter one when you go for a quick dip in the ocean. Otherwise, this fish would give you nightmares. They live around 8,500 feet below the ocean surface, and they're basically a fish that consists of cartilage. They have naked, smooth skin and a huge, venomous spine in front of their dorsal fin that they use for defense. Surprisingly, they're more like a shark than you think, even if they don't look all that shark-like. They lay their eggs in leathery cases, and they also use electro-reception for hunting down their prey. But if there's one thing they've got that sharks don't, it's retractable appendages on their forehead. It's almost like evolution hasn't quite finished with this sea creature. Number 4. Glass Catfish the glass catfish is one fish that doesn't leave anything to the imagination. There's no need to perform biopsies or x-rays because everything is on display. Glass catfish are entirely transparent, which means you can see all of their organs and bones. You can barely see their tail fin either. Fortunately, they let off a slight shimmeriness, so you aren't about to just swim into a giant school of glass catfish and get a fright. But even if you did, these tiny, transparent fish likely wouldn't mind. They're quite peaceful and timid, and tend to swim around in schools rather than on their own. Believe it or not, these fish are quite small, so you can actually have them as pets if you wanted to. They only grow up to around 5 inches. But let's not just focus on how see-through they are. These absurd little fish also have huge barbels on their heads. They extend way past their face and out from their nose. They make it look like these fish have whiskers. As far as unbelievable fish go, these glass catfish are probably some of the least alarming. Number 3. Alameda Ghost Pipefish Alameda Ghost Pipefish are relations of seahorses, but if it were possible, they're even weirder than seahorses. Can you believe these plant-like fish actually exist? They look exactly like algae, even sharing the same white dead patches and algae strands. And it's not by accident either. When you put them in their natural environment among cactus algae, they blend right in. It's not until you remove them that you come to understand just how crazy this critter really is. They have an elongated head, which makes up over half its body, and a hardened, bony body. For most of their life, they hide away in algae and don't do an awful lot with their day except hide. Occasionally, though, they'll stop to suck up copepods that happen to be passing by. The Halamita ghost pipefish grows up to around 2 inches long, so they're quite tiny. The mothers will carry fertilized eggs between their pelvic fins, and these are secured in what works as a brood pouch. Then, when the fry is born, they camouflage just as well as their mom. Given how hard they are to spot, it's probably not surprising that they weren't first described in science until 2002. Number 2. Flowerhorn Cichlid The Flowerhorn Cichlid might sound like some kind of Pokemon character, but it's actually an ornamental aquarium fish. If you love nothing more than watching fish swim around your tank, then this is definitely an ideal option for you. This fish has beautiful, vivid colors and strange shaped heads, which is evident once you realize what the fish is called. The thing that comes out of their head is called a nuchal hump, and they are definitely a talking point for fish enthusiasts. Just like the blood parrot cichlid, this fish is a human-made hybrid. They exist in the wild only because people have put them there. They were developed in Taiwan, Thailand, and Malaysia, and they're popular among fish enthusiasts. I mean, just look at the cute wee fishies. It's not hard to see why. You can also get these fish as pets in the US and Europe, but as cute as they are, they're a little bit naughty. Since being released into the wild around Singapore and Malaysia, they have become quite an invasive pest animal. So much so that you're not even allowed to import them into Australia. Still, don't let that detract from just how cute they are. 
Number 1. African Butterfly Fish This small 5.1 inch fish with large pectoral fins will definitely make you raise your eyebrows. Known as the African Butterfly Fish, it's a surface hunter that spends a lot of time on the water surface looking for delicious snacks. Does it not realize all the good stuff is underneath? They feed on small fish and aquatic insects and have a large swim bladder. This lets them breathe air. You know, once again, if they just look for food in the water, they wouldn't need to worry about all that stuff. The African butterfly fish mainly lives in standing bodies of water in West Africa and requires water temperatures of between 73 and 86 degrees Fahrenheit to survive. While they are wild fish, you can actually also have them in an aquarium, but you should only have one in a tank because they don't tend to get on all that well with each other. It also doesn't pay to put them with fin-eating or other aggressive fish. As you know, they dine on the surface of the water, but they also breed here too. They produce large eggs that float on the surface, and they hatch within one week. How keen are you to head out into the ocean after learning about these crazy fish? It's definitely hard to believe that they exist. Have you seen any of them in person, or can you think of any others? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.